A few days ago, I showed, uh, I posted a video about calcium as uh, 10 millimeter cubes that we sell, and they were inside these ampules. Um, but I didn't show what the actual metal looks like uh, without oxidation. Uh, and I explained in that video why it's, it's very tricky to get this metal without oxidation uh, because it's so reactive in, in air, and that means it's just chemically vulnerable to oxygen that's in the atmosphere. So we do sell calcium metal without oxides and you can see them in here trapped in this ampule uh, which is under gas, argon gas, it's an inert gas so there's nothing for it to combine with so no matter how hungry it is to uh, combine with something else it just doesn't have the choice because it's trapped between an inert gas and glass which is of course also uh, inert so it'll stay like this as long as the integrity of that of this cube is in there uh, I have a lower grade of calcium which is a little bit shiny uh, but not quite it's not quite as bright as the one that's in this, this uh, lucite cube because um, now, I'm not really sure why, but here you can see that it's beginning to tarnish. Uh, these little, uh, <laughs> looks like crumb, crumbs, doesn't it? Of uh, It doesn't even sound like it's metal in there because it's so light. The density is so low that uh, it, it's not really making any noise. But anyway, what I wanted to do to point out is that uh, here, this is an intermediate stage where you have calcium metal and granules that has some tarnish, uh, but it will stay looking like this as long as the, the uh, integrity of the glass remains intact um, because it is also argon in there. But apparently it, it was exposed to some oxygen or maybe just other impurities that doesn't allow it to be just a beautiful slab of this very light metal. So uh, this concludes this presentation for the calcium uh, metal cube in shiny form. If you have any questions let me know. This is Raciel for Luciteria. Thank you.